I received a few six volts the other day and was asked um, to analyze them to see if they were still good. Uh, one company said they were all bad, need to be replaced, and they wanted a second opinion. Um, so I've had this one on charge for about, I'd say 18 hours at 10 amps, um, which is pretty significant. Um, and I'm getting about 6.43 volts here. Um, if I had a healthy battery on a 10 amp charger, I would think this should be closer to seven. Um, just because it would be putting an overcharge on it. So the fact that this this must be hanging low, which is why when it's when it's got a lot of power in it, it's only still only 6'4". Uh, fully charged, this should be about 6'5", 6 6'6". 6 6. Um, but I wanted to show you what a dead cell looks like. So a normal discharge battery, um, and this shouldn't be discharged anymore because as you can see, you know, we've got bubbles here. This is really cooking, okay? If you leave a battery on a charger at 10 amps or more uh, for an extended amount of time, the liquid in your uh, deep cycle battery is going to boil off. That's how batteries run dry. So right now this is it, just a slow boil or slow bubble. So it's only fuming a little bit. Um, these were overfilled by the customer. You can see the liquid level is right here, just below the lip. And I've had some overflow. Um, you know, a battery that's properly filled shouldn't be overflowing. You really just need to cover the plates or cover the plates with about a quarter inch of water if you're, if you're topping off your deep cycle batteries. But I want to show you what a discharge cell looks like. And again, this should be charged if it were a healthy battery. But it's not taking a proper charge because it's not a healthy battery. So the balls are dropping slowly because this is saying that it's, it's registering as fully discharged. All right, they're falling, they're falling slowly. And the top one is saying, oh, I got a little. And that's probably because it's about 10, 15% charged. And that top ball indicates a 25% charge. So it's falling slowly. So we're a little less than 25. However, a dead cell, and I believe this battery has two dead cells, it's going to fall like that. Okay, you notice that was a lot faster. I don't have to put it in slow-mo or anything, but you can definitely tell. Same thing with this cell over here. They're just falling very rapidly. They fill and they fall. They fill and they fall. Okay, that's indicating you have a dead cell. So basically, what that means is what I'm sucking up is all water, no electrolyte. The sulfuric acid in the electrolyte solution has been absorbed into the lead plates because it was left discharged too long. And what's left is just mostly water in here. And these balls are made to float when they, um, they're, uh, when there's a certain amount of sulfuric acid in here, you know how oil floats on top of water uh, because of the density difference. Well, these balls are each set at a different density. The red is one particular density, yellow, blue, orange, they're all different densities. And the more sulfuric acid, which has a different density than the water, uh, the more sulfuric acid that's in what I'm sucking up, the more these balls are gonna float. So the fact that I'm sucking up all water is why these are all falling. In this one, they fall slower because there's a little bit more sulfuric acid. And you can tell that orange and blue ball fall the slowest because the density is similar, but still greater than uh, the density of the amount of the concentration of sulfuric acid in there. All right, so this battery would indeed be deemed dead. Um, I, I would, don't think there's anything to recover this. And I'm sure once I disconnect it from power, we're gonna see it drop off quite rapidly. 6.4 or 6.14, 6.12. So it's immediately starting to fall. So, and I think this is probably gonna fall all the way down to, you know, four volts, four and a half volts, and then probably a little bit lower, given enough time. So this battery is indeed bad. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody. I know everybody's trying to get their batteries ready to endure the freezing cold months. 
Uh, your batteries are more likely to survive if the sulfuric acid is pumped out of the lead plates into the water. Um, they're less likely to freeze. But you should always leave your batteries fully charged, especially when it's cold. A healthy battery that is fully charged loves cold weather. Cold weather greatly extends the shelf life uh, and decreases the self-discharge. Um, a warm battery or a battery in a warm environment is going to self-discharge faster. So keep your batteries charged up and they will last a long time. Thanks for watching guys. Feel free to subscribe and uh, hopefully I'll have more content like this um, coming out soon.